In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. According to the Holy See Press Office, Pope Francis is working on his second encyclical, this one on the topic of ecology. This is not the first time a pope addresses the, the topic in an encyclical. In 2009, Pope Benedict XVI wrote Caritas in Veritate and talked about a need to better understand a quote, human ecology. The bishop from Springfield, Illinois, who performed a public exorcism last November, on the same day a same-sex so-called marriage bill was signed into law by the state governor, is defending his actions as the loving thing to do. Bishop Thomas J. Paprocki was interviewed by LifeSite News during the recent March for Life and said, quote, You really have to understand what love is all about. Love is really to seek the best for people. By being opposed to the redefinition of marriage and being opposed to things that are sinful, that's actually a very loving thing, end quote. Paprocki said the prayer of minor exorcism, the same prayer that's said during baptism, is used when the church is facing opposition or persecution, end quote. On January 24th, the Supreme Court issued a three-sentence order affirming, for the time being, an injunction blocking enforcement against the Little Sisters of the Poor and the Christian Brothers Benefits Organization of a mandate to provide contraceptive coverage and employee health insurance. Archbishop Joseph E. Kurtz of, Louis of Louisville, Kentucky, speaking in his capacity as president of the USCCB, said in a statement released January 25th that the bishops welcome the court's protection of ministries like the Little Sisters, whose vital work is at the heart of what it means to be Catholic, end quote. Yesterday, Islamic jihadists killed at least 62 people in northeastern Nigeria, including 22 worshipers at a Catholic mass. The churchgoers were killed as the rebels set off bombs and fired into the congregation, while another 40 or more were murdered in a separate attack on a remote village. While no one has claimed responsibility for the attacks yet, the militant Islamic sect Boko Haram is suspected. In the recent court case concerning a Texas man's request to remove his pregnant brain-dead wife off life support, a judge has ordered the husband's wishes be granted. Texas state law states that life support is required for a pregnant woman even if she wished to be taken off. However, the court judge said that at the stage of pregnancy Marlies Munoz was in, she could have chosen an abortion, therefore granting the husband's request. The husband, Eric, named his unborn child Nicole, his wife's middle name, before depriving her of oxygen and nutrients, resulting in the child's death. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about ninja Catholics. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. My people suffer for lack of knowledge. Our Lord tells us this to remind us how important education is to our salvation. A premium account at churchmilitant.tv costs you only $10 a month. That premium account will get you access to hundreds of hours of catechesis and church history. As the rock of the church, St. Peter reminds us, we must always be ready to give a reason for our hope. You'll definitely be able to do that as a churchmilitant.tv premium subscriber. Sign up today.